Congratulations. One, you've covered a number of different coding fundamentals. Two, you've had hands-on experience with code. And three, you now have a slew of nifty tools to use. You've picked up enough code to begin automating parts of your day-to-day -day life. I suggest starting small. Start with the categories that we covered with the examples in this class. Then you can begin to branch outwards. There may be an inkling of doubt though. How do I build categories of tools beyond what the examples have covered in this course? And that's completely okay. Remember, the discussion is there as a resource for you to use. Go ahead and leave a question and I'll be more than happy to leave a response. And remember, this class is live. As you leave reviews and post feedback in the discussion section, I will continue to update the course and possibly include more examples that students ask for. Remember the goal is to get you number one, interested, and number two, able to read and look for code. What's more important than having the right answer is having the interest to continue to build nifty tools. I hope you've had fun, but maybe more importantly, I hope you can see how much value code can provide today. It doesn't have to be a months long, years long journey before you start to use code. Got a super nifty tool? I and your peers would love to try it out. Go ahead and post a link in the projects and resources tab for the rest of us to try. If this has piqued your interest and you're looking to do a little bit more, try out the applications in Computer Vision 101, Data Science 101, or SQL 101 on my Skillshare profile. I've also designed the course to be very short and self-contained. There is more content coming to help you ace coding interviews and become a more advanced Python coder. If that all sounds interesting to you, make sure to follow me on Skillshare to be notified as soon as classes launch. Congratulations once more on making it to the very end of the course, and until next time.